941 Komodo Dragon Acupuncture. What more can we say? That says it all. Mm -hmm. It's another cool way the San Antonio Zoo is helping take care of its animals, and that includes Bubba, the Komodo Dragon. RJ Marquez is live at the zoo. This has got to be something different and new to cover. And versus uh, Komodo Dragon uh, chiropractor. Yeah, there you go, guys. Yeah, uh, this is definitely one for the books right here. And I told you guys earlier, I told our viewers that we were going to get an up close and personal look at Bubba getting this procedure done. And uh, we cannot possibly get any closer. I'm standing right over Bubba right now. The procedure has actually started. Again, this is acupuncture treatment being done to help relieve some of Bubba's, uh, some of his pain and some just to help him kind of move around a little bit better. So joining me now is Dr. Rob Koch. He is the head vet here at the San Antonio Zoo. And doctor, can you just kind of explain what is going on here with Bubba? He seems pretty tranquil and pretty chill right now, but uh, you could see some stuff going on with him. Yeah, Bubba is 25 years old. And for a Komodo dragon, that's, that's fairly old, uh, definitely in the elderly category. So what we try to do is monitor him and make sure he's doing well. And this particular case, he's got some arthritis and some pretty significant arthritis in his knees and a little bit in his elbows too, but the knees are, are the, his worst issue. So we've been able to manage that through acupuncture. Okay. Uh, definitely not a normal thing that we do all over the world, but uh, for Komodo dragons, that is. Um, but for him, it's re he's responded really well. Okay. Um, I know there's skeptics out there about does it work or not work, but I can tell you for him, he gets benefit. I mean, it's night and day benefit for him. Um, now I'm using electrodes uh, or needles that so you would for acupuncture, but I'm hooking these up to the electrode and putting a microcurrent in there. And that's enhancing the stimulation and enhancing his pain management. Mm -hmm. So he's able to basically manage his own pain and walk better. Okay. Yeah, and I think that's sort of the the end result that we all want to hear about here. I saw earlier you did put also a B12 shot into him, and he's also getting some nice um, some skin sort of treatment here, getting uh, some of his old skin removed. I got a piece of it right here. It is very interesting to touch and feel, and we could see Bubba is now sort of moving around a little bit. Uh, maybe he's feeling a little bit better? He gets a little stimulated with this, so he feels better. Um, you know, personally, I've had acupuncture done to me, and anybody who's had acupuncture done, they know that through the treatment you get a boost of energy and you actually start feeling better and um, all these natural opioids in your body gets released in the yeah. brain and you just feel great. <laughs> Well, it looks like Bubba is uh, starting to move around a little bit here, guys. Uh, this is, again, a bit very interesting live shot, one that uh, I'm very happy I got to sort of take a part of here to help Bubba get on the move what? and get better here because, RJ. again, he is one of the most popular residents here at the San Antonio we, Zoo. We, we yes, have a couple Leslie. questions yeah. real quick. First of all, what are you going to do with that skin? <laughs> yeah, I'm and, sure. And second of all, ask the vet. I was actually they... going to take it back to the station. Yeah. And, and so, we do me fair, ask... uh, Yeah, we'll be able to all kind of get a feel. And we do me go favor, ahead, ask the vet, how do they know? It's not like the, the dragon could go, well, hey doc, it hurts when I do this. I mean, how do they know it's got the arthritis, the inflammation, that kind mm -hmm. of thing? Yeah, doctor, uh, great question. How do you guys know or can recognize that an animal gets arthritis? And how do you guys go about uh, moving on with that process of treating them? Sure, well, one thing we noticed that over a period of time when we first noticed this about five years ago, he just he just wasn't moving as much. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessarily in a cold weather, um, you know, because obviously arthritis and cold weather kind of can go together sometimes, but this was in the spring, it's warm. He just wasn't eating very well. We tried regular pain medications, but it just wasn't responding. Mm -hmm. So I happened to be taking an acupuncture course at the time. So I was like, let's do acupuncture. Yeah. And after a few sessions over the course of several weeks, he just started getting up, moving around. He started eating better. Then we typically do this Oh, once every few months. Okay. Now we've gone as long as six months before, as short as every couple of weeks. Uh, and sometimes that just gives them that little extra energy boost over time. Mm -hmm. So that way he just, he just basically, I can't fix his knees, okay. but I can help him live with him. Okay. Aww. Great stuff there. Thank you very much, Dr. Koch, for being with us and for performing this procedure on this guy. We know that a lot of uh, visitors here at the zoo definitely love to stop by this exhibit and check out Bubba and uh, kind of want to see him moving around. So that's great news there. All right, guys, uh, like I said, uh, this has been an interesting interesting live shot here at the San Antonio Zoo. I will send it back to you guys, Mark and Leslie. Fun for us too. Thank you so much, RJ. Thanks.